Chief Meteorologist Tara Lane is keeping an eye on the skies for us and where we're seeing the most activity, Tara. Really, I know they're scattered all over the region here from the foothills and near the higher elevations down through the Piedmont and upstate South Carolina. So we take a radar tour and pinpoint exactly where we're seeing the heaviest rain right now where all of this is going. It's pushing through basically from west to east. And so this line that's developed over western parts of Anson County stretching down through Tradesville and out toward Heath Springs, Lancaster County, this is headed toward Chesterfield, toward Wadesboro here and uh, behind it. Nothing too much here coming in. Just a little bit of light rain here and there across most of the Charlotte Metro. But then we look back off to the west. We've got more clusters of storms, heavy rain, nothing officially severe when it comes to the risk of damaging wind gusts happening right now. But just know that that risk is there and will continue into this evening. As long as we have the stormy weather for another few hours, we could see more of this development and damaging wind gusts will be the main threat. But over Bellwood, Lincolnton, seeing some of that stormy weather moving through and just to the east of Boone and Blowing Rock and out through the mountains of Caldwell County, Patterson, and heading to Wilkes County, northern Alexander County. Another cluster of storms marching through all ahead of a cold front that will bring that well-advertised burst of some cooler air and that fall feel coming up for later on in the week and heading into the weekend. Right now, though, not so much feeling like fall. It's still humid. Dew points are in the mid-60s. The temperature, though, is a rain-cooled 78 in the Queen City. But behind that cold front, you can see just how much more mild and kind of pleasant feeling those temperatures are. 60s, 70s, only around 80 degrees. And we will be feeling those types of even high temperatures by the end of the week. But here tonight, still warm, humid, 67 degrees, lingering showers and storms out there mainly early tonight but by the time most of you head back to work and sending the kids back to school tomorrow morning most of that's out of here and then hey stay tuned tune in again tomorrow queen city news at four and then at five o'clock we will have our queen city news hometown show we're going to be live in the south park neighborhood of charlotte forecasting about 81 degrees at that time under a partly cloudy sky. There is the small chance, only about a 20% chance of a stray shower or thunderstorm for friends in South Park. So tune in and we will have uh, lots of stories and some of the history of the South Park area. Our reporter Maureen Wirtz will join Brian and I and telling some of those stories. So hopefully the weather stays clear, not as stormy as today is what we're looking at here. And the storms, as I said, could last for the remainder of the evening up until 8, 9, 10 o'clock or so. Once we head closer to midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, things kind of settle down and those storms move out. Early tomorrow, we'll be left with some clouds and then break out with more sunshine in the afternoon. And as I said, not expecting nearly as many showers and storms as what we're seeing out there late today. Just that small chance of an isolated shower, maybe a rumble of thunder, and especially south of Charlotte down through South Carolina early Thursday, a little bit of that rain could be hanging on till that front clears the area. And then Thursday afternoon is when we feel that fall feel. Yes, low humidity, no humidity really, and cooler temperatures, especially in the mornings. Several refreshing mornings to look ahead to with dry conditions Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. How low will those temperatures go? Friday morning, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, mid upper 50s with 40s up in the mountains. The average low, by the way, these days is about 64 in the Queen City. And look at that. You all in the higher elevations, Thursday, Friday, Saturday mornings, widespread low temperatures in the mid and upper 40s. A couple of several beautiful days with all that sunshine heading into the weekend and highs only around 70. Outside of the mountains will be on either side of 80 Thursday, Friday, Saturday, another minor rain chance by the end of the weekend.